Ready, steady? Go. Go. This week's searches are all about leaving home at last. But persuading our first-time buyers into the right house isn't going to be easy. That's the train. I just walked in and I couldn't see myself living there. There's romance in the air. I love you for saying that to me. <laughs> oh, no, Don't mention obviously. babies to Mark too no, often. I won't, I won't. But there is tension in the ranks. I prefer the tactical approach. Actually finding the right house. Jaw on the floor. When have I not found the right house? And has Kirsty finally had enough? This is my dead body. Just climb over it. This week we're in Nottingham, house hunting with one couple and one bachelor. They're all on the hunt for the perfect home, but still living with their parents. So someone needs to give them a little shove at the nest. And we're only too happy to be of assistance. I'm in the north of the city, helping man about town Jeremy Minton find a home as stylish as he is. And I'm scouring the villages south of Nottingham, searching for the perfect first home for furnishings designer Mark Holmes and his girlfriend, charity worker Steph Squires. They met on a blind date just over three years ago and can't wait to start the next stage of their lives together. It'll be oh, somewhere family. that we would have our first child, yeah. Old, yeah. If I ever proposed to. Yeah, way <laughs> off yet. <laughs> Ooh, I love a couple who've had the future chat. A lot of my friends are getting married, having kids. It is the next step in life, yeah, for us, definitely. At yeah. a time when we should really be enjoying spending time together for the last six months, we've been toing and froing from parents' houses and friends' houses. It'll be amazing just to mm. have that time together. They've been house hunting for over a year, but despite seeing over 40 properties, nothing has hit the spot. With a top budget of 205,000, they should be finding it easy. We've found some houses that have got a few bits here and there, but nothing that's ticked all the boxes, really, is it? We are being fussy, but the amount of money that we're going to spend, it's a huge amount for us, yeah. and that's why we're kind of not willing to compromise too much. No wonder they're finding it hard to compromise when they've got used to all this parent-provided luxury, and their search area isn't making things any easier. Mark and Steph want to live in and around Nottingham's upmarket and expensive southern suburbs and villages, which, combined with their reluctance to compromise too much, has left them stuck. If they really want to get a place together, Phil... We'll head out the back room. Okay. Cheers. It's time for you to get shoving. You've looked for a long period of time and you've looked at over 40 houses. It sounds like you've become property blind. What must we achieve? It has to have three bedrooms driveway. Yeah. A reasonable sized garden, um, preferably south facing so we get daytime sun. And then potential for expansion or modernising. Yeah. Mark wants to get his design skills into the house. And Steph, how do you feel about doing work to somewhere whilst living in it? I think it depends on the level of work. I don't particularly want to be living in a derelict house with no running water. And from your house search so far, is the requirement for the south facing garden or the driveway restricting the choices that you've had? I would argue that it has done. Yes, yes, both of those have. Then you mustn't be quite as fussy about the house. Right, OK. So, if I can take you to a house, it's got a bit of character, three bedrooms in the right spot, 200,000, opportunity to add value, south-facing garden and driveway. All going to be right on paper, isn't it? Yes. Yep. I'm home and dry. Yeah. <laughs> Will we get the feeling? <laughs> no, you won't, but you've got your garden and your driveway. <laughs> oh, Phil, they said the F word. The feeling. I don't think I've ever seen that on a set of property particulars. Me neither, and they want a whole lot else besides. For their maximum budget of £205,000, our two young lovebirds want off-road parking, a south-facing garden, three bedrooms... ..and a possible design project for Mark to get stuck into. Oh, and don't forget the feeling as well. Wish me luck with these two. I think I'm going to need it. I'm on the other side of Nottingham with Jeremy Minton, who moved home nine months ago to help care for his father when he was diagnosed with cancer. It was unfortunate, but it was good for me to be here while I was ill so I can keep an eye on him in the house, and thankfully he's, he's come through that now and he's doing well. Jeremy and his dad have had an emotional time. They have now got through the worst of it. And on top of that bit of good news, amazingly, during such a difficult period, Jeremy's also managed to save a deposit of 12 grand towards his first home. 
Jeremy works in the city centre managing a fashion store. Good afternoon, Plumbers Nottingham. Jeremy speaking. And design and style are high on his list of requirements. He knows what he wants and is determined to get it. Perfect, sir. Slip that one off and I can tell that over to the till for you. I would quite like to have a house that suits my personality, really. Um, which is strange because I quite like to be up to date with things like phones and computers, but then I do value the kind of heritage and the features that you get put in a house 100 years ago you don't get so much anymore, like fireplaces and the, the wooden floorboards. And a good-looking house isn't the only thing he's after. Uh, most of my time has been taken up looking for houses at the moment, so I've had to put social things on hold. Maybe Kirsty can help me with finding other things, girlfriends, etc. Whoa there, Jeremy. This is a property show, not a dating one. Let's get the house sorted first. Jeremy, you've done amazingly well. You've saved up £12,000 in a year living at home with your dad. Why now? Because, you know, I'm in my 30s now and I need to have my own place to, to continue my life. I see the next step as buying my house rather than renting. What do you want from your property? I need to be close enough to town to get to work and see my friends. Mm -hmm. Also, period features. I like mm. Victorian terraces, uh, fireplaces, things like that. And thirdly, extra bedrooms will be useful for me to rent out, obviously, and bring some income in to pay the mortgage. Renting out a room's a really smart move. In this area, he could make around £250 a month doing that. He's a savvy chap, this one. He's got £105,000. And for that, Jeremy wants a three-bedroomed Victorian terrace with period features, style and space. And some girlfriends, if you don't mind. They have both looked and looked and looked and looked and they've confused themselves now to, to such an extent we've got to start again we've got to unravel the whole thing start now what have we got to do say look this is ridiculous Percy that might be your style of house hunting but I prefer the tactical approach of actually finding the right house Jaw on the floor. When have I not found the right house? I always find the right house. It's not, we already have found the right houses. It's never been about finding the right houses. That we can do. Mm. It's about making the horse drink when it's at the water. We provide the water week mm. in, week out. Nobody's questioning that, apart from you all of a sudden. Well, if ever there was a place to tempt our horses to water, it's the thriving city of Nottingham. It's a young person's town, home to nearly 50,000 students, and with around 400 pubs, bars and cafes, it's little wonder our young house hunters are keen to get a bit of the local action. Nottingham is on the up, with affordable housing, huge investment in public transport and many big businesses calling it home. This city is booming. And it's not just famous for Robin Hood. Its vibrant sports and arts scenes cater to all ages and it's no surprise that so many people love living here. This is the best city ever. It's not too big, not too small. 15 minutes you can be out in the suburbs and in, enjoying the greenery of Nottingham. You won't find a better nightlife, the dubstep and stuff like that. It, it's, it's unique, it's unique. And there are some great bargains to be had here. The average UK house price is just over £160,000. But in Nottingham, you can buy a house for just over half of that at 90 grand. Good news for our house hunters. I'm kicking off Stefan Mark's search in the lovely village of Ruddington to the south of Nottingham. It's one of their favourite areas. Fingers crossed they like the house. Yeah, I like it's it. It's a nice, quiet, quiet road. I like the space on yeah. the front. It's got a yeah. lot of space there. Looking forward to seeing it. Yeah. Okay, come on Great. then. Great. Sounds like a good start, Phil. This 30 semi delivers almost everything that Stefan Mark are looking for, and it has an extra surprise upstairs. At 25 grand under their top budget of 205,000, it's a great house in a great area. It could use a little loving, but has got bags of potential and we'll test how much Steph really is prepared to do. Come on in. Kitchen. Nice. Which needs a bit of updating. Yeah. It's a bit disjointed, it's a bit higgledy piggledy. You could extend out to the back, you could open up that archway. Yeah, I think even if you knock down that wall, it would really open up the kitchen, wouldn't it? But, I mean, let's have a look at it, cos the kitchen hasn't been done for years. It's quite dirty, um, isn't it? Removing that would already make a big difference and, yeah. and just remodelling re yeah. the kitchen. I actually see this as an opportunity for somebody to come in and go, I'm not paying 180. Yeah. I'm going to pay you less. You can level that off in line with that, the yeah. existing, can you? Scrape that 
extra space here, definitely, and you'd have a lot more room. It's good that they don't seem to be phased by the thought of work, but I'm not sure they're getting the feeling yet. Up here, there's a fourth bedroom. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Right, fine. Right. Yeah. Ooh, Steph likes that idea. Gosh. So it's up here that separates the house from its competitors up and down the street, if you like. Okay. It's a bit smaller than I would expect mm. um, a loft conversion to be. Yeah, it feels a bit... The bed's quite tucked in there, isn't it? Yes, for sure. Oh, dear, she's not smiling anymore. The room might not be massive, but it's a really useful extra space. I, I'm, not, I'm not sensing any great um, love or passion for the house, but I do think the opportunity to improve that kitchen is exciting, and that's profitable. I think when that's done as well, I think you'd spend more time within that space as well downstairs. Mm. Ooh, Phil, I think Mark's just trying to be polite. This doesn't really feel like a master bedroom, does it, no, the amount of no. stuff that we've got? I kind of get the impression that they're going through the motions a little bit. For me. They're not really into this. Well, you can see why they haven't sold them, can't you? It's yeah. the same, because it's a great start at home. Not ideal, No. Really. No. OK, none of the bedrooms are big enough for Steph. You could try to win her over with the garden, but remember, it should be south-facing. got my compass, let's just... Double-check. Double-check that. Yeah. So the sun is going to come up in the morning. Beautiful breakfast out yeah. here. Saturday, Sunday mornings. Yeah. It's going to go down over the other side. Ooh. Oh, frown. <laughs> oh, that was a... Ooh. I felt that <laughs> right through me. <laughs> that was a real wince. Yeah, that... That would be a no-go. So, preferably south-facing has become must-be-south-facing. This viewing's not getting any better. What did I tell you about horses and water? We're in Nottingham, searching for two very different homes. Steph and Mark want a love nest to start their lives together. And Jeremy wants a bachelor pad in town where he can entertain the ladies. Our Nottingham locals are struggling to get out from under their parents' feet. So we've been pacing the pavements, finding perfect properties to tempt them to fly the nest. Sporty young couple Steph and Mark were unmoved by a house we thought was pretty perfect on paper. So we're going to have to try a little bit harder. But I'm hoping we're off to a flying start with Jeremy. We're also beginning in one of his favourite areas. The house fits the bill. It's at the top of his budget at 105 grand, but it's in Sherwood. As far as Jeremy is concerned, this lovely suburb to the north of the city is the place to be. It's ten minutes' drive to the city centre, has great shops and pubs, and is also popular with other young professionals. It all looks good on paper. But then I thought that about Mark and Steph's first house, so I've come along to see if Kirsty does any better. What is it about Sherwood that you like? It's got a nice little community on the main road there. It's got cafes and bars, good bus links to town, close to my family as well, not too yeah. far from my friends. All systems go on that front. So, front room. Blank canvas, but in a good way, I think. Yeah, need to see beyond and see all my things in here, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's an old house and there are cracks all over the place. That's not a structural thing, that's no. just paintwork, yeah. Oh, I love you for saying that, Jeremy. <laughs> oh, thank God you said that's that. Right. You know, these houses have been standing as long as they're standing. They're going to continue standing. Moving on. on. Phil, would you like to show Jeremy the bedrooms? I think that's a very good plan. Come on, yeah. Jeremy. Well, we've got the three bedrooms you're after. One down there, two, third up here. He may be property savvy, but he's very hard to read. I don't know what Jeremy thinks about this place. And then third bedroom up here. Interesting. Do you see yourself living with one friend, two friends? How do you think it would work out? Yeah, I think if I've got the bedrooms, I'll rent them out. Yeah. It just helps to pay the mortgage and it's a bit more of a social atmosphere, I guess. I guess it'll boil down to how much you really want to be in Sherwood or whether you think that the property is going to be more important. It's the, the kind of the one difficult issue, really. You can't really move a house to a different area, so I've got to be happy with the house. And would I be happier with a, a bigger house in a more questionable area? Got a feel? I quite like a bigger house, so okay. it's difficult. For Jeremy, it's the age-old question of space or location. And at the moment, he doesn't seem sure which. What is it that he wants? Is it location? Is it glamour? Is it the slick bachelor pad? He, he doesn't. He, he's unsure. Think... And he, he hasn't made that decision. And I'm not pretending it's an easy decision, but he's, he's sitting on the fence, and I think it's going to be very painful after that long period of time. Ooh, yeah. Doesn't matter thinking about. 
time to find out what he makes of this place. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. So... How do we do with the first one, then? Yeah, it's a good size and the location's great. But I hear about. I have to say, I just walked in and I couldn't see myself living there. Uh, now, that's a straight okay. answer. Yeah. OK. No feeling. No feeling. It's, the, it's that feeling that you've got to try and describe, describe to, to you. you know, but it, wrong house, then wrong okay. house. OK, moving on. Moving on. So it comes down to the pesky old feeling again. I'm not doing any better than you, Phil. Chin up, love. We'll get there. Next up, I'm taking Steph and Mark a couple of miles southwest of the city to the lovely village of Attenborough. This gem of a village is where the smart money in Nottingham goes. It even has its own beautiful nature reserve at the end of the road, which attracts twitchers from all over the country. Not quite sure how much of a selling point that is, Kirsty. There's nothing wrong with a bit of twitching, Phil. Anyway, this three-bed 30 semi might stretch their budget to the max, but the garden faces in the right direction and it certainly has the wow factor. But what about the trains, Phil? I think you'll find the house more than makes up for it. This house I'm going to show you is a bit of a gem. I'm excited about this one, actually. Yeah, the road is Engine's lovely. Game. Really like how it all looks and love yeah. the amount of space on the front of the property. Yeah. Cool. Very excited. Yeah. OK, <laughs> brilliant. Come on, then. Another good start, Phil. Can you keep it up this time? Come and have a look at this. It's a bit of a TARDIS, this is. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, gosh. No way. It is a properly wow room of any room. <laughs> It is, yeah. As you walk in. Yeah. Really good quality. It's on the market at 215 grand. Right. Right, OK. <laughs> Don't let disappoint. <laughs> um, uh, I think I can get it in on budget. Right. I'd like to think that I could get it for 205. But I've got to ask, does it have the feeling, whatever that means? Yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah, we're both speechless, by it. We can tell yeah. we've only had that feeling twice before in our search, and this is definitely... I'm this having butterflies um, as we speak now, yeah. Well, look, let's split up and, and explore, yeah. if we may. Um, Mark, if you ever help yourself, have a look around the house. Steph, I know the garden's important to you. Yeah. So why don't you and I head out there? OK, good. Right, OK, brilliant. Here we go, Petal. This could be where it all starts to unravel. Isn't there something you forgot to tell them? Now, Steph, we'd better get the compass out. Yep. Southeast. OK. And that's the train. Right. Which is why this house is priced as it is. OK. Because without that, it'd be 20 grand more. Yeah. It's just, I guess, seeing how regularly the trains go through, how busy a line that is. Keep an ear out for another train and see if you find it. Yes, OK. Interactive. Will do. But generally, it's quite a change. Yes. Where you are now, both living with parents, to here, proper yeah. big family home, smart, affluent area. Is it? quite scary when you think, wow, we could be here for five to ten years easily, um, and that's what we're looking that's for. What you're looking but then for. when you see it, you yeah. think, oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, but, but it would involve spending all of a the huge, budget. Yeah, that's but mm. the bonus is that it doesn't need the work doing, so we don't need to have that money to one side to make any major changes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, at the moment I'm just in shock at the amount of space that there is. <laughs> Looks like Steph isn't the only one in shock. This house is so much bigger than the first one, you could get lost in it. I think you need to go and rescue Mark. Mark? Yeah? How are you doing? What do you make of it? Yeah, I'm uh, blown away by it, Bill. Yeah, really chuffed with it. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. How much of this in your book is about making her happy? Uh, the majority of it, yeah, definitely. I think it's, it comes down to her being happy Mm. then I'm happy if she's happy, yeah. Obviously, now that I've met the right person and I want to spend the rest of my life with Steph, I think this will be a, a nice house to start yeah. off with, yeah. yeah. Tear-jerking stuff, <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> Man up, you two. You're supposed to be searching for a project. What happened to sledgehammers and knocking down walls? I think at this stage in their search, Mark is so relaxed, he's practically horizontal. He just wants to get this sorted. He knows he's onto a good thing. He's living at home, she's living at home. They don't get any time to come. He doesn't care about the house. He just wants to move in with her. Then he really can be horizontal. I think that's probably what it's all about. Phil Spencer? Yeah, I just can't believe that we could afford this amount of space. This is like a proper grown-up house. Yeah. I think we're both a bit shell shocked yeah, by it because I think we didn't expect to no, that, that see anything find like this. this. No, it's something to really, really think about. Yeah. Well, there you have it. 
I mean, you've seen 40 odd. How does this rate? Top. Yeah, yeah up top, there in up the top, top of them. Top. Yeah, totally. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How about the train? I think probably one of those things where if you've lived by it, you don't you, notice you, it. You just get used but to it. But having never lived yeah. by I, I mean, one. did that bother you? No. We right. scarcely heard it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've lost my touch. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Phil. You're back on track. But your work's not done yet with these two. Mark's desire for a project might still scupper it. But at least they've got the magic feeling here. Let's hope Jeremy gets it too in your next offering. We're in Snenton. It's not Jeremy's dream area, but he has told us he is happy to look at properties here. And he's going to have to compromise to get the space and style he wants. This three-bed terraced house is within a mile of the city centre. It's been renovated to perfection with lots of period features. The bonus is it's on the market at five grand under his top budget of 105,000. We can't spend time pressing around in houses you don't get a feeling off, OK? OK, no so, problem. Not me between the eyes. Ready, steady? Go. Go. Front room. Everything in this house has been either replaced or restored, and it just looks lovely. No, it's good, yeah. And I love these half nets. I don't know why more people don't do them. They're and kind of fresh. Them. When you're on a street like this, it does keep it does. people from looking yeah. in. Staying in the house? Want to see yeah. more? Don't definitely want to see more. Okay, don't. He's making all the right noises, but I'm not sure property savvy Jeremy is buying into this. Let's hope he can see the value in a more affordable area. So, lovely back sitting room and kitchen in cracking condition. Brand new, new boiler, new everything. This is certainly the kind of house I want, without a doubt. Having walked in, I like the front room, I like here, I like the features. So Any no, negatives? it's looking good. I'd have to do some research on the area. Obviously, because it's going to be all my things in here. I need to know if it's a high crime area or if there's a lot of problems, the cars get broken into, etc. So I'd need to look into it. Well, that's a bolt from the blue. He's a local lad, he's asked us to search here, and crime has actually fallen by half in the last four years. And this is a stylish pad that offers him space to rent out a room too. But if he's getting cold feet over the area, it'll be a no. I think that Jeremy's number one problem is he's quite scared. I feel protective towards Jeremy. I want to find him the right house. I'm, you know, I'm glad he's buying now. And, I, and the other part of me thinks, oh, for God's sake, man up. Poor boy. You're supposed to be encouraging him into buying, not scaring him into it. Right. What's your gut feeling? What do you think? you're going to discover about the area. Living in Nottingham, you get certain stereotypes of what areas are like. But I need to come here and experience it for myself and see what it's like at midnight, see what it's like at weekends, see what the people on the street I'm going to see every day are like. But I can't fault the house. The house is perfect. He can't fault the house, and I'm confident he won't be able to fault the area either. Fingers crossed he's just being cleverly cautious and thorough, not slightly scared and anxious. Two years of searching between them, our house hunters should have been settled ages ago. But they've got stuck and just haven't been able to take that first step. We're going to fix that. Steph and Mark might have fallen in love with stylish property too yesterday, but they were interested in taking on a project. So we're both taking them to Chilwell. It's an area on the up, it's to the southwest of the city, and they'll certainly get more bricks for their bucks here. It may not have the postcode appeal of Ruddington or Attenborough, but it's got good local amenities and the tram line extension is coming this way. That kind of investment is always good news. It certainly is. This spacious three-bed semi needs updating. But it's on the market for just under 180,000. That's 25 grand under budget leaving plenty in the pot to do it up. It's wet and cold, so I think we'll do our appraisal in the hall. Well, you can see this, the state of it, and it's whether a bigger house in Chilwell that needs work is more or less suitable than a smaller house done up somewhere else. Yeah. It needs a bit of TLC. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. nothing as depressing as a seat which someone has just got up out of. Yes. Yeah. And I, I mean, yeah. really, yeah. Like what, does, what, what, does it, what does it take? Like, <laughs> this is called cushion plumping. It sells houses. Yeah. It's, it's such a different proposition to where we ended yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. What's this on the market at, Phil? It's just under 180. Right, right. Okay. OK. Right. 
but it shows you that you can buy a big house well under budget. Right. Well, I'm going to take stuff upstairs, look at the bedrooms, and you can repair the decking. <laughs> <laughs> Mark will have a wonder man. Mark's always said he fancies doing work. The question is, will Steph be up for the challenge and how much work is too much for her? This place is vacant and in a seriously unloved state, but if they can see past that, they could get a big family house at a bargain price. Despite its condition, if you manage to see the upsides of this house, I'd be impressed. Okay. This is a solid family house with, you know, enough room to stretch into. Yes. Is that what you've imagined from the outset? Yeah, the kind of house we've imagined is somewhere that we can stay for five to ten years and have our first child there, And although we're not married yet, so no, don't mention babies to Mark too no, often. No, I won't, I won't mention babies, but he does <laughs> he know get that... Freaked that out. He yeah. does know, he that does know that's in the plan, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a pretty handsome-looking house, I thought. Yeah, yeah, definitely, I think... You, and you can see what next door's done in order to get an extra bedroom up the top. Right, OK, yeah, yeah. I know the opportunity to add value and, and do work was really being led by you. Yeah. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't scare me at all, uh, and it's not like anything major. Um, we could obviously do bits and work around it as we've got the money. I mean. What do you suspect will be going through Steph's mind upstairs? Um, whether the garden's in the... <laughs> in the right direction. Yeah. <laughs> Which it is, so yeah. that's... Um, it's hard to not think about the, the Attenborough House and how nice that is is done. It's whether we can achieve that standard here. So look I mean, at the kitchen. Yeah, it's smaller than. Yeah, like. but it's all. I think, it's... I think we would want to knock through those to have that big kitchen dining area. Yeah. Yep. She doesn't seem freaked out. I reckon the girls' game. Well, there we have it. Lots of positive chat. Could yeah. it be the one? Did it give you the feeling? That's what, we, that's what um, we're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, hesitation. Sure. Yeah. I think it's just seeing how it could look when all the work has been done. It's just very different to what we saw yesterday, as yes. it's the other extreme. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, Phil's just shaking you up a bit. Yeah, yeah. Making you think. <laughs> making you think. Definitely making us think. <laughs> I think Mark can definitely see the potential here. He just needs to convince Steph they can give this house the wow factor of property too. I don't know what they're going to do, but that was very positive. Yeah, very positive. Yeah. Very positive. I hope they go for that. Yeah. Be the right thing to do. Totally. 100%. Yep. Fingers and toes. Is that a new shirt? It is a new shirt, yes. I can't it's decide whether it's jacket. smart or whether it looks like a circus tent. Ooh. <laughs> like I haven't heard that one before. Anyway, I've got more important things to think about than your wardrobe. I've got one last chance to buy Jeremy a house. I sensed last night that you were being polite about the other area. Are you pretty resigned to the fact that it's a lovely house in not such a nice area? Yeah, what you just said is probably true. You could stay with your dad for another year and save up another £12,000 and then push it and just get a bit of a better house in a bit of a better area. I don't want to live with my dad, you know, I've done it for a set period of time to save money. I think my options now are either stay and try and save or rent some money. I could live in bang in the city centre in a great place and just pay out my wages each month and have the place I want. This is my dead body, just climb over it. <laughs> no you... way, not at your age, are you kidding me? But you have to see that the base price for a house in Nottingham in a standard area is, is a lot of money, you know. And it I is think a lot of I've money. saved well and I've got a reasonable job. Um, I mean, none of them but my friends own houses. Wow, I didn't see that one coming. Jeremy's worked really hard to save a great deposit, and I'd hate to see him using it to pay off a landlord's mortgage. But 100 grand is a lot of money to spend, especially when you're on your own. Of course I can see why he's scared of this decision. Everyone is worried about falling house prices in the current market. But renting is not an investment, and Jeremy will never see a return on money paid on rent. I know he understands this. So I have one more chance to encourage him to buy. The last property is in Bassford, a lovely area that Jeremy likes, and this three-bed Victorian terrace should be the house to tempt him. It has period features and all the mod cons he could ever wish for. What I love about this house is actually turn around and have a look at the view. It's a lovely view. It's a lovely view, isn't it? It's, mm. it's very green, Nottingham. No, it is. Trees make it nice. Yeah. Area-wise? It looks like a nice street. The houses are nice. There's a park at the bottom. 
my little shop. Okie dokie. Should we get in? Yep. Right, now, coming in, lovely high ceilings, nice front room. Not as big in here. It's very big, isn't it? There's a, there's a similar feel to the house we were in yesterday. It sort of sits in the middle between finding something in Sherwood and the Snenton house. No, it's a great space, this. The kitchen is very social. Entertaining room, I yeah, would say, yeah. it is. Now, the only downside of this house, as I see it, is that it has a downstairs bathroom. How much of a problem is a downstairs bathroom for you? It's a little far from the bedrooms, yeah. but I guess that's just because I've never lived in a house with a downstairs bathroom before. It's got three good-sized bedrooms upstairs, so you could cut one of the bedrooms upstairs in half, put a bathroom up there. It's possible, it's certainly within budget for you to move yeah. um, something upstairs. Um, because it's on at 100,000, it's come down from 110,000. So um, they're obviously keen to sell. Yeah. Not as keen as I am to save Jeremy from himself and stop him from heading back into renting. I can't bear it if he throws away this opportunity. 50% of me thinks I've talked him round. He should be buying, not renting. There are lots of lovely houses at his budget. He's going to go for it. No, not 50% of me thinks that. 30% of me thinks that. God, you know what? Sometimes I just do, do, I do. It's true I want to throttle people. It's true, OK? I pretend I don't want to throttle them half the time, but I really do. Well, we'll see. I might be being unfair. He might buy this house. I know you feel protective towards Jeremy, but go easy on him. He's on his own. It is a big, scary decision to spend that much money and commit to a mortgage for the first time. He's got a lot to think about. And in the meantime, I'm taking Steph and Mark to see my final house. We're back where we started, in the lovely village of Ruddington. So the two houses that, that you've liked, yeah. Yeah. one was very grown up, a lovely established area, beautifully yeah. done, yeah. Nice, lots of character. Then there's a, one that you could make everything that that one was, but it was bigger, but it was yeah. an up and coming area. Uh -huh. I, I'm afraid now I'm just going to really muddy the waters. Okay. Right, OK. Back in Ruddington, yeah. it's going to get confusing. Right. I apologise for that in advance, <laughs> it is part of the process. Okay. It's kind okay. of cruel yeah. to be kind. Yeah, yeah. OK, come on. Brilliant. Oh, Phil, this house is going to throw a spanner in the works. It's a smaller version of the budget buster they fell in love with yesterday, but its asking price is 35 grand less. This place should finally make them decide if they want to do work to a property or if they want somewhere they can move into right now without the anxiety of stretching their finances. The house has been done to perfection with a great extension at the back to give properly open-plan living. Now, this will be a very easy house to move into. Yeah. Okay. I mean, check out this layout. Yeah, it's nice. Somebody wanted an open plan. Yeah. What's whirring through your mind that I can't read you? I'm thinking the open plan was more kitchen, diner, open plan. Yeah, I was after more rather than the kitchen and the lounge. lounge yeah. So there's no way to go into the sitting room and kind of shut yourself away from the smells of the kitchen no, and no. things like that. No. Wrong sort of open plan. Not what you wanted to hear, Phil. Mark, how does it make you feel, considering this is a very established area, versus Chilwell, which is up and coming? Yeah, I, th I quite like the aspects of the up and coming, to be fair. Obviously, with the tram phase as well, it's got me thinking, potentially, it's where we could make a bit of money yeah. as well. Which is quite a step change, isn't it? Because yeah. you were the one previously that was yeah. more anti-Chilwell and that side of, of Nottingham. It's good, it's good. You only need to buy one house. Yeah. I don't mind. I don't mind. It looks like Mark has set his heart on the project. But maybe the amazing garden will win Steph's heart, despite the layout inside. Check this out. Wow. Wow. This is lovely. Yeah. It's the longest garden that we've seen. Yes. Mm. Yeah, I like the size yeah. of the garden. That's Hopefully fab. that might compensate for the fact that it's on the east facing. Yes. Yeah. But still... <laughs> she spotted it already. <laughs> But still, it's half past five and there's still quite a bit of sun on the garden. If you were to go for this house, you would be in here by this summer, in a couple of months' time, entertaining your friends, enjoying life together. Yeah. yeah. Spending less than 180 grand. Yeah. Money-wise, 
it's probably the, the best option because it's under budget yeah. and we don't need to spend any yeah. money on it at all, really. Yeah, they've done it really nicely. Well, why don't you have a look upstairs? Right, yes. OK. And um, I'll, I'll come up and join you. Great. Brilliant. Thanks. <laughs> they, they don't actually seem as confused as I was thinking they would be. Uh, I thought they'd be jumping up and down, wondering what to do, but I think probably they'll go for the project. That would be my guess at this point in time. But you never quite know. That's all the fun of the fair. It certainly is, Phil. They don't seem to be feeling it here. But are they still feeling it for property too? What's going through your mind, Steph? I think um, we see houses like this and we think they're lovely, but we want to do this to our own house. And I think it's just drawing us to the conclusion that we do want a project, we want something to put our own stamp on. Mm -hmm. That is a bit of a shift, isn't it, from your previous search? It seems silly saying it, but yeah. you know, we don't want that perfect house because we want we to work want to on making it perfect. Yeah. Good yeah. for you. Definitely. Yeah. And the money side of things? The one at Chilwell, same price as this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think if we could get the Chilwell house... At the right price, I think. Yeah, Then we know that we can... The money that we've got set aside, we can actually use and yeah. utilise on the house. The pressure's on you now, Phil. They've walked away from the wow factor of property too and want the big project. You're going to have to pull off the deal of the century. It's decision time in Nottingham. And the question is, have we done enough to persuade our two lots of house hunters to invest their hard-saved cash in bricks and mortar? I'm off to meet Jeremy for a coffee and a chat. And it's back to property three in up-and-coming Chilwell for me to see if Steph and Mark are still up for the project. Well, you know what they say about the greatest sign of an up-and-coming area? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a few of these skips. There's quite a lot of work being done. There's three or four different ones on this street that are being yeah. done up at the moment, so I think that really is testament to what's happening here. I've arranged for local builder Michael Phillipson to come round and price up some of the jobs that we've been talking about. Top of the list is knocking through from the kitchen to the sitting room, creating the space thereafter. I guess this would be somewhat low-bearing. Somewhat low-bearing. You'll probably be looking at about two and a half to three thousand pounds, uh, about a fortnight's worth of work. And then you'd have to factor in the new kitchen. Yes. yes. And of course, it would be a very generous and big kitchen. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. cracking that thing. Um, it's yeah. good to get the figures. Probably, if you total it all up, more than we'd want to spend. Yeah. Or be able to spend. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's thinking about mm. what we need to. Yeah. To do. What would be an immediate. Yeah. And what we could do over yeah. time. The second thing they want to spend money on is getting rid of the eyesore garage that dominates the garden. Mick, this looks to have a, um, a grey asbestos roof, obviously quite common for garage roofs. Is it, is it difficult to get rid of? It's not difficult to get rid of. It's a, it's a phone call to uh, one of your local specialists who will strip it down, bag it and, and take it away for you. It's quite an easy process, really. Removing asbestos needs to be done properly. Its fibres are corrosive if inhaled. It's only an issue when you want to remove it and it's best to use an accredited contractor. It would cost around 300 quid to take this roof away safely. Well, there you have it, you two. Seems to be pretty useful. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what we're talking about? Yeah, really useful, actually. Okay. Give yeah. us some more ideas, I think, and food yeah. thought. Definitely. Yeah. Not too scary? A little bit scared. A little bit, yeah. yeah. A little bit scared, yeah. But... It's a perfectly natural reaction for them. Everyone gets nervous about their first house. I hope that's just the sort of seriousness of the decision that they're facing. It's been a long journey for them. I'm determined to get them across the threshold, hopefully in that house. It's time to see if Jeremy has come to any conclusions about what he's going to do. We've shown him three great houses, and they're the best he's going to get for his money, but he has found fault with all of them. Renting might get him a better place for now, but to my mind, it's not a long-term solution. Will he make the right move? Jeremy. You've seen three houses, you know why you've rejected them, although house number three you haven't officially rejected, although I just get the impression that it's not a goer. I think if I'm going to move into a house, I need to be all in, heart and soul, and want it. And, and I don't think there's any reason for you to want it. There is no house which will 100% captivate you. But at the very start of this, you said to me, do you need to save up more? Maybe that's something I need to do. How can you save up more if you're in rented accommodation? It depends on how ex expensive my rent is, I guess. I, I may be wrong, but I think you're not 100% ready yet. Partly because 
although you don't want to go on living with your dad, when that day comes, when you wake up and you think, my foremost need is to own my own home, then the house will be there. You're right, I think. I'm not destitute. I don't need to move out today. And if you was in that position, I'm sure you would find somewhere. So I'm quite lucky in that respect. But it's the biggest thing I'm ever going to do. So maybe, for me, it's going to be a time thing. It's a pity that Jeremy doesn't seem to realise how good he's got it. In lots of British cities, he'd be lucky to get a decent one-bed period flat for his hundred grand, never mind a three-bed house. He's not saying it, but I'm pretty sure that Jeremy believes we just haven't found the right house. And I'm 110% sure that he's not ready to buy. Has it been a waste of time the last two days? No. I think we may have forced him to really analyse what he wants and why. But I tell you one thing, that lad ain't buying a house until some girl puts a gun to his head. It's horses and water after all, and Jeremy's just not thirsty enough. You could show him a million houses, but he's not ready to drink. Well, I'm a lot more confident about my two. It's crunch time for Steph and Mark. Are they going to take the leap and go for the project? If so, it's on the market for 179,950, but they need to get it for a lot less than that. So, uh, what, what do you want to do from here? Well, we've decided that we want to put an offer in on the house. Yeah, we think the property's worth 170. To us. To us, yeah. For mm -hmm. what we can afford. Yeah. I think that's a good figure. I think it is worth 170. It's been on the market a little while. They haven't had any offers, given the fact He's moved on, he's bought something else. You know, your position has some financial value to him. Yeah. So I was thinking of opening with an offer of one, six, two and a half. Okay. Right, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Sounds like a good place to start. Yeah. Okay. I think it'd be a great place to finish yeah. as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if we pull it off. But... The offer is a whopping 17 and a half grand under the asking price. It's definitely a bold one, but Mark and Steph need to save every penny possible to do the work they want to to the house. Can I speak with Kay, please? It's Phil Spencer. Steph and Mark are minded to, um, to, to make you an offer. Uh, the offer is 162 and a half thousand. I can hear you wincing at the other end, Kay. Um, I, I'd say that's a figure that um, enables you to open discussions at your end. Um, and meanwhile, we can be having them at our end. Uh, they're ready to go. If, if, he, if he can get the papers to us next week, um, we deal with everything and we'd have it all wrapped up inside of a month. Thanks, Kate. Good luck. Bye. Yeah, there's no way he's going to accept that. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth a try. <laughs> that was quick. That was quick. That was a bit too quick, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's too quick. Hello? Right. OK. Um, well, I'll see if we can react this end as quickly as you just did. A and I'll ring you back. OK, thanks. Bye. She said he almost fell over, um, which isn't, isn't too surprising. Uh, he was looking for 172. OK. She feels that he would accept 170. I think we should throw him another offer. 166. Six. 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 Seven. 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 Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Sounds good. Let's go for that. Yeah. Yeah. To. Phil Spencer again for K, please. They'll do 167 K. Yeah. Uh, and at that point, we, we start to run out of steam much after that. Many thanks. Cheers. Bye. I think we've got her on side. Okay. Right, okay. Fingers crossed. It's a more realistic offer, but it's still 13 grand under the asking price. If you pull this one off, Pip, you've got the bargain of the century. Hi, Kate. Uh, I'm going to pass that news. Thank you very much. She said, we've caught him on a bad day. He's accepted your offer. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> yes. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> Great. Brilliant. Well done. Well done. You're going to have a home uh, together. Cheers, mate. That's brilliant. Absolutely. 
What a result. From falling in love with the Wow Factual Property 2 to buying their own project, they've gone from living with the parents to finding their own home in three days and at a cracking price. We caught up with Stefan Mark six weeks later. The mortgage is in place, and as soon as the lawyers get the paperwork sorted, they'll be picking up the keys. And it looks like the excitement hasn't worn off yet. Great first time. The size is brilliant. Yeah. This is just what we were looking for right. in the size of the rooms and the space that we've got. Excited. Yeah. So many people say they want a project, but when faced with the reality, they run for the hills. I really admire these two for having the guts to take the place on and love the fact they want to restore it to its former glory. We're spending a lot of time on the internet, aren't we, searching for 1930s doors yeah. and fires, surrounds. Yeah. Ripping up the carpets will be the first thing we want to do. The original drawing's fine, I think. Hire a sander out and sand everything through and get the wallpaper down and get everything nice and fresh, really, ready for us to move in. It's great to see them looking so happy. But first things first, there's a housewarming to organise. Have a party, make yeah, all the mess yeah, first and then strip it all down, yeah. Get some fizzy pop and some chips. <laughs> it's not a very good kind of party. <laughs> I'm sure our invites will be in the post soon.